Okay, we are on day three. Rest days in between. Um, as far as like motivation goes, I waited until the very end of my work day to do this. I think that's a mistake. I definitely feel like I need to do it a little earlier. The reason that's problematic for me sometimes is because uh, the hair, the makeup, like I have to work and like I can't just sometimes look like a, you know, hot mess. I mean, I do look like a hot mess on here quite a bit, but you know what I mean. For the purposes of like filming content and whatever, I kind of have to structure my day around what time I'm gonna get sweaty and put that in at a, the most convenient optimal window. So, but when you get to the end of the day and you're out of gas, you're out of gas. Also, I slept like absolute crap last night. I slept like four hours. I had nightmares actually. I asked ChatGPT last night what my uh, nightmares meant. Blew my mind, blew my mind. Anyway, if you ever have that happen, 10 out of 10 recommend. So I posted for the first time about this experience yesterday, I think, and I got lit up with quite a bit of like, do you have body dysmorphia? Like just a lot of accusations being thrown around. Just to be clear, like this has to do, this challenge does not have to do necessarily like, of course I'd love to see some like muscle building. That's kind of what I want. I don't need to lose weight or like if, it, if weight comes off, awesome. Like I'd love to be back to my, my normal weight is about 12 pounds from where I am right now. And I've been that weight for like 14 years. So. Like I could tell whenever I'm slipping a little bit. And as I said in the uh, first post, like I just don't want to get past 12. I don't want 12 to turn into 50 and I'm still sitting on the couch, like wondering what's happening. Like I get why I'm gaining weight and getting soft. Like I've been sitting on the couch. So I think it's a little interesting that like most of the people that like come here and are part of my community and comment often, like they're all really supportive because y'all know me. It's the people that like surface and like have a comment and they never engage on any of my stuff except this one i feel like that's a big tell too so i i take that all with a grain of salt like you know what they say about opinions so just to rest assured like i don't feel like my figure is bad or i have anything to be ashamed of i just want to be in good shape i mean for goodness sake there's also the element of the fact that like i have a contract with an agency to keep myself together like when you sign a contract that you keep yourself in a certain way you're committing to keeping yourself in a certain way and like for me to not hold up that contract is a breach of the contract so there's a little pressure there no lie what else I feel like I just had to clear the air a little bit on that I'm not bothered by it like I welcome the feedback y'all give me your feedback but under no means just don't misunderstand this is about forming healthy habits that's what this is about. Can I stick to it? Can I build trust with myself, stick to it for a full 30 days and like just stay in curiosity about what is possible? You know, I, I get these like little glimpses of like what it's gonna look like to be 13 days in or 14 days in. And I'm like, I wonder if I'll start jumping. Instead of doing step ups, I wonder if I'll do be so psyched that I'm gaining this strength back and that'll feel so good that I'm gonna wanna start doing box jumps instead of step ups. Like I feel the curiosity starting to spark. And for me, I also know this about just my history with exercise and what I put in my mouth. I have never, ever been able to diet my way into, like it never starts with food for me. Food feels restrictive and I hate that. Don't put me in a box, don't restrain me. Like I don't do well under that. I wanna be free and be creative and experiment. And dieting, so to speak, always felt very restrictive for me. So I've never been able to get myself fit by way of dieting first. I've always had to work out hard and then the working out leads to me making better choices with what I put in my mouth. Meaning I'll come in from the gym and be all sweaty and exhausted and feeling great and feeling like I really accomplished something and then not wanna like eat a Snickers or a bowl of ice cream. Cause I'm like, man, I just did all that work. I don't wanna undo all that work that I just did. You get what I'm saying? So that is also something that I think will happen the longer I stick with a promise that I'm making to myself. So anyway, that's my feedback for today, day three. Let's keep going.